Welcome back to OKTV OK at the Royal Wedding. We're celebrating William and Kate's marriage and what a day it's been. I, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. To my wedded wife. To my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. I, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. Now they exchanged their vows in a fabulous ceremony at Westminster Abbey and Kate looked truly stunning in her ivory Alexander McQueen dress. The train was over two metres long, fairly understated for the royal bride, but without question, she looked absolutely gorgeous. Up to a million people turned out to see them, while two billion people were watching on television around the world. And to prove they are down with the kids, <laughs> after spending some time at Buckingham Palace for their first reception, Prince William drove his new bride to Clarence House in his dad's Aston Martin. Pretty cool. It's a happy, happy day, yeah. isn't it, guys? It's a very nice day. But now, let's talk about the kiss. Or both of them, actually. Mm. Let's talk about it. Well, I this think the good. fact that there were two kisses shows us exactly how much of an own man that mm. William is. Because he would have been told one kiss, but <laughs> luckily he pleased the crowd with a second kiss. And the first kiss was a little bit awkward. It was almost sort of over. Jeff and I were talking about that earlier. It was over before it even started. And then William, being William, managed to read the crowd. So carefully and also I think that he felt that that first kiss didn't really represent the warmth of their relationship so he went in again and he lingered a little bit <laughs> and it was beautiful it was really really did nice. Did you feel the love on the second kiss? I did feel the love mm. on the second kiss but I did she notice pulled away that Kate pulled little away bit you're absolutely right Jeff liking. and I think why she did that was because she isn't used to the whole surroundings and she will not want to put a foot wrong. William obviously it's his family Family. He can control Granny, but Kate, she's just stepped in, and he's going to want to. But she's going to want to please the, you know, the in-laws. Absolutely. Mm. And Simone, there was a moment when they were on the balcony where we got a real insight into their relationship. This was really beautiful, and it just showed us exactly what kind of a mother-son mm. that William really is. Because she came out and she went, "Wow!" and enthusiastic, <laughs> and then straight away, instead of him saying, "Oh my goodness, look at this," and getting carried away in the moment, the first thing he did set was you'll be okay, the way he was empathetic, making sure that she wasn't overwhelmed, really considering her feelings. And I think that is why this relationship will work, because they are truly in sync with each other. They're completely empathetic, compassionate, lovely. and they have each other's back. Absolutely. I'm going to take you quickly back to the start of the ceremony when he glanced back to Kate. That was quite a spine-tingling moment, wasn't it? It, it was spine-tingling. That was beautifully yeah. put because you could see how proud he was and how unbelievably beautiful yeah. she did look. And he just must have been wowed. Yeah. We beautiful. all want to know what Prince Harry said, though, was <laughs> because there was that little giggle between the two boys, and I'm guessing that Prince Harry might have said something like, oh, she looks well fit, or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think she looks very regal and royal. Well, it was very, very sweet. Beautiful. And Josie, were there any tweets about the kiss? Uh, there were some tweets, yeah. I've got uh, a few here. 